What if I told you I could change your entire life simply with this deck of cards? Perhaps the whole deck might be a grab challenge. So what if I narrow my options down to three and try my best? Three cards to change your entire life. Now, naturally, I'd expect you to be a fool to believe me, but I have hope. The queen, the king, and the great, the powerful fool, the joker. Perhaps the most subjective card in the history of the deck. Always set aside in my games as a card of no value. Until I grew curious. In the medieval era, jokers, jesters and fools were hardly ever ignored. No, they dazzled the court. They were masters, entertainers, performers of song and rhyme to bring out the glorious rarity of laughter. The kings and queens were bored. Quite frankly, they needed a distraction. An expert. A genius. A fool. Jokers weren't just witty comedians, but they were also brave soldiers. In the place of lords, barons, and captains, our good old fool was always the bearer of bad news when nobody else dared to deliver it. And with that, jokers managed to mock the entirety of the monarchy. In front of the monarchy. But let's cast aside the fools of the past for a second, and let's think of a newer fool, a more progressive fool, a true maestro of his trade, Mr. Bean. No, don't laugh genuinely, Mr. Bean is the greatest fool of all time. Read only this. A man named after a vegetable. Speaking little to nothing at all. Armed with a stuffed teddy bear. Somehow managed to become a household name standing to over 190 countries in the world. I have never seen a finer piece of chaos. My friends, would you still call this man a fool? If you said no, then shame on you. This man is a fool, but he's a good fool nonetheless. Perhaps you aren't convinced. Mr. Bean is a character after all, and true fools in reality are hard to come by. But I find that they are still there, subtly, in their own ways. Think of it this way. One day, a man decided he was no longer going to speak directly to a person. He was going to find another way to communicate. And this half-wit went and did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the telephone. Another moron decided he wanted to make it better. A long list of idiots, naive enough to believe they could developed this idea, mastered it, manipulated it to have the smart technology we all use today. Now, what if I told you I could change your entire life simply with these three cards? Perhaps it doesn't seem quite so impossible. Arrogant, yes, but not impossible. Kings and queens do not waste their time with something so insignificant as the impossible. No, this is a job for the jokers, the fools. Because only they could be so bonkers to consider something so impossible.